Hello, welcome to Let's Try. We're trying Jusant. Jusant? I don't know. Jusant? Um, this game looked like immediately appealing to me and I'm trying the demo from the Steam Next Fest. Uh, if you check out this video and you like what you see, definitely check out the link in the description for the game. I don't know how long the, uh, well, I guess it's a French term. Nautical term for a receding tide, okay. Um, yeah, the link in the description will lead you to the demo. I don't know how long it's available for, but, uh, you know, have a look, maybe wishlist it. This game looked like immediately very interesting to me. Um, I am interested in this for a couple of reasons, not just like the visual execution, although that was like a, you know, pretty big selling point for me. Receding, receding tide, I assume um, we, we are, well, I'm, I'm not going to spoil the gimmick just yet. I kind of like got a little bit of journey vibes from what I saw of the trailer. Oh yeah. I love, I don't know. I love those. Um, I forget what there's a specific term for them, but they're like sand goggles kind of thing. Like they, they basically help block out some of the, the sunlight when you're traveling around in the desert. I forget what their term there's there. Um, there's something specific. Like, I kind of got like also some Mobius vibes from this game. I mean, anything involving like sand and the desert and uh, my mind tends to immediately go to Mobius. Jusant. Crab, fellow, little crab friend. Friend? Don't kill him, I swear to God. Okay, so uh, herein lies the, the hook. We, we, you see that mountain? We're gonna climb that mountain. And we have a friend. Who's our friend? Oh, you know what? Also, um, this game kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Eco or uh, Shadow of the Colossus. More Eco than Shadow of the Colossus. Um, the major, like, kind of world building vibe of Eco was like, here's this old ruin and you, you know, you gotta, like, fully explore it. Uh, Daymark, okay. Climb? We're climbing? So, you know, nothing too exciting just yet, but here's here here we come to left trigger to get a grip. Left left dual shock search for hold. Right trigger to hold. Okay, so we're grabbing with our left arm and our light right arm. And yeah, so this is what kind of appealed to me. I've done I've done bouldering. Uh, I've done mostly top roping and that's kind of what they're doing, although this is more like bouldering with like hooking. Never got into this. This is um, this is some advanced stuff. At least in my local gym, if you wanted to do basically what this person is doing, you had to like prove yourself by uh, achieving a, a certain difficulty level. I didn't notice. Was there a way to hook that I didn't notice? How do how does one hook? When full, it means the rope is something. Uh, I'm missing some of the tutorial here. Do I have to like? Okay, I don't know yet. I don't know how to re-hook into something else. But that's pretty cool. I mean, like, you are literally climbing. There have been quite a lot of climbing games. I've talked about this before, but um, something that I think that a lot of climbing games fundamentally get wrong is that it's all about which rock you're reaching or grabbing onto. Um, and this is something that's really, really difficult to... Um, to do in any climbing game is it's all about the footwork like your footwork means more and your balance means more than like what you're grabbing uh and i understand it's it's basically impossible to do that but it is kind of like this um this weird like relationship that all games that want to do like rock climbing or top roping or anything like that they all they all make you know they do that now one thing i do really appreciate in this game is that in order to like say like i'm i'm you know this is something i've done in real life is like if we wanted to get up to that hook and i grab with my left hand here and then we're reaching with our right hand now we are like off balance because if i want to grab that i'm reaching across my other arm so which arm you start with matters and then sometimes you just like it's all about like maintaining a, a position that you can be comfortable with so that you can then switch your hands and then grab with the correct hand and then similarly here i don't want to be reaching across myself so i'd want to like you know maintain a position so i can switch hands 
uh and this is that's where like you know your legwork really matters now of course i've never done anything like this um that's where your legwork really ma makes a difference because you you obviously can't be like switching hands unless you have a stable position with your feet um so we're climbing up here and then i'll reel in when on the ground what oh yeah i already knew that three stone icons represent secondary pittance uh i don't know how to pronounce that actually if they're full they're available to use if they're empty the pittance um something something it's gone forever oh if they're empty the pittance are already attached to the wall okay so you get a certain amount of gimmies um don't want to grab that one actually i want to move over a little bit and i want to grab that one and i want to grab that one and then maintain with my right hand and you can actually see some of the legwork that they're doing the, the animations of what well, excuse me i did not mean to do that whoa i didn't want to do that at all what, what is this wait what was that what was it telling me okay we can reel out or we can pull in okay that's cool you could see some of the lo leg work. Press A, hold to load a jump. Okay. And then we grab. And we have a certain amount of st stamina. Do we have a stamina bar? Why do we have a stamina bar? I'm just learning. Um, I don't yet understand certain things. We have stamina. The right hand gauge represents your stamina. Monitor it and keep it topped up to pre prevent yourself from falling. Okay. What keeps it topped up? All right, we're, we're moving on over here. Oh, all right. I assume that every time we move is uh, going to wear on our stamina. So it might be that moving more is actually worse than just like going for it. Maybe we want to jump occasionally actually to... Of course, jumping, I feel like would be the m most wearing thing on our stamina. Yeah, in fact, that wears a big time on our stamina. Hold X to place a pit. Where? We just placed it in the wall, apparently. Okay, so you're you're like really setting your own stakes here. You, um, you're setting your save point. We're really running out here, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna go for it. Oh wait a minute. Press to rest. Oh, okay. Okay. So you can you can rest on occasion, and we didn't use up all our pittens. Placing a secondary pit and anchors you if you fall. Well, I knew that. We can continue up, but there's a uh, something in here maybe. I wonder if there are different routes. Yeah, there's a way to go up here as well. So we can we're we're going up here. Music, just the, the kind of discordant tone of the music really reminds me of um, Outer Wilds, which has one of my favorite scores from like any game ever. What is this? Another sleep turning over stones at the old delta. Harvest. Two belay stations for parts. A good catch. That should be enough to reopen the route to the old cape. Otherwise, it's all smooth sailing. A couple of old lanterns. I think I can revive. Folks used to throw this stuff away. Oh, and I finally caught an old knitting machine for Ennio, who's been asking for one for cycles. Not in great shape, but we should be able to tinker with it. Still not sure how I'm going to haul it up to low tide though oh interesting note to self stop doing business with rem all he does is dismantle my discoveries and sell them for parts and heights he claims to be a repairman but he's nothing but a foam salesman that's what interesting nice bit of uh, world building we got there i love the lighting in this game like it's it's kind of uh, incredible actually we we can't grab for anything there We've got a route here. I already sort of missed a, a route. The rope can be attached to most surfaces by pressing, holding down X. But wasn't there a thing to our bottom right there that would have saved us from using one? I'll be down, RB. Right, okay, so we're just gonna let go. And it looks to me like they're, they're very subtly kind of guiding me. I'm gonna have to do some swinging. Just like Tom Cruise in uh, everyone's favorite Mission Impossible. I think it was two? I'm making a joke, of course. I'm pretty sure no one likes to, or maybe everyone likes to. I can't remember, and I don't care. We've got a uh, secrets here, so you can, hmm. We got there's a lot of interesting stuff here. What's what's that? Oh, is this the other route we could have gone? I don't know. Oh, there's a switch. What is that? No, I didn't want to do that. Okay, 
so we can connect to that and then we can lower ourselves down lots to explore in this game oh this is uh we were here already i suppose there's like a reason we would want to come back here but right now let's just go back up it's not like uh you know we don't have a shortcut there's no you know there's no soulsy and stuff going here that's not a shortcut because we can only go down we couldn't go back up for instance what do we got Ooh, a shell can we hear the ocean and that's not the ocean that's something else completely oh, i mean i guess it's kind of the ocean oh this is a, a memory i love uh i love all the details going on is that a is that like a squid or a oct um jellyfish fossil i see we're yeah, that's clever. We're, it's not a flashback. We're remembering things that used to happen here. And I think it's just kind of repeating. That's really cute. I actually really like that. Oh, wait a minute. What? So yeah, if you just like start climbing, it'll connect to that. And I don't think that that actually provides anything. What is this? Yeek. How are things at the sawmill? Business has been slow at the restaurant. Almost no one came to the late to the last music night even though people are climbing down from all over i know we don't play the shells anymore but still i was thinking that adding scaffolding to the side of the upside down cliff might help steer passerby this way i miss seeing a packed patio can you take care of it i checked with low tide and everyone agrees hey mo listen these things happen i hope one day you'll ask me to do something besides taking boats apart to make ladders like if i'm free for a romantic dinner or two uh, anyway, all good for your scaffolding since the village approves. I don't have much wood to choose from after that new path to the plane I had to build, but I still have a wreck or two left over. I'll get to it when the current allows. I owe you one. Thanks. You're the best. By the way, do you ever run into the old Sanja? I think she's rummaging around in your area right now. If you see her around, do you mind telling her I need a new hob for my oven? Mine's taking on water. In the meantime, set sail for the restaurant. I'm not sure how romantic it will be, but we can always share a half-cooked meal. Okay. Uh, I mean, very apparently, like, all of these places I'm visiting were, like, places of, uh, you know, they were occupied by people. Can be attached. Oh, I see. We can walk up to this thing and then attach a pit. It looks to me like we're going to have to do some more swinging. Let's get that going. You can actually lower while you're swinging. Ah, I see. There's like really direct communication. But if you swing too far out, then you don't get to use the wall and then your swing doesn't have as much momentum. We can see uh, like other pittons left from other uh, from old users. What was that? that? What are these lads? Well, we can go back down there if we want. I'm not sure. Not sure yet what the purpose of that is yet. Yet. I really do appreciate this kind of game, you know? Like, we've got a very chill narrative. Um, oh, right. We're uh, jumping here. We're learning about the world. It's not heavy handed, like, at all. It's very much at your own pace. Uh, we're honestly learning more about the world just from the way the world is designed more than anything. Each location that we visit kind of gives us a clue as to like how populated this area used to be. Okay, let's... Okay, here's our first overhang. Interesting. Ooh, that's gonna be tricky. This, this is a nightmare. I would, uh, this is not something I would ever really try to attempt myself. Yeah, like, that, that would be really difficult to do. You're basically holding your entire weight with like one hand um and yeah they're telling me to place a pitten i kind of almost wish oh perform a double jump interesting okay so we're we're learning moves that we were already capable of i'm assuming we could have done that already we didn't have to oh oh i'm wrong that is a that we can connect to that is that where we want to go though feels like that is the way we're going okay so we're where are we swinging to though let's just go up how about that? And then we can swing there. Hold to jump. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But, mm. Okay, let's swing properly and then lower right there. There we go. Okay, okay. I like the gameplay. Um, 
it doesn't seem very challenging right now, but I'm sure it will get harder. But I'm not sure how it's going to get harder. That's the thing. Like, how, what what challenges is it going to present? We can do a double jump. I mean, that's really cool. And it makes sense, too. It's, it's not like your regular game double jump where you're just, like, jumping on uh, air. Okay, we're going to rest for a second while we have the moment. And then I guess we're going to do a double jump here. Nope. Nope. That's not, that's not correct. I guess we can climb. We can continue climbing here. Oh, we can climb around. All right. We're using all, all three dimensions. We, I love the little, little mushrooms. I don't know what those are. I mean, they look like cave mushrooms to me. And we could do this, but it feels like there's more going on. I guess we'll get there. I guess we're going to get there. Even climbing a ladder in this game uses like our climbing mechanics, which I kind of like. I appreciate the consistency with that. And we can't go back outside, but I want to check out this area over here. Because we can go all the way around here. And we've got little lizards. Are the lizard lads bad? We put a rock on the thing. Okay. We can go up here. No, we can't go up here. Doesn't seem to be anything over there. I mean, we can explore this zone, but doesn't seem to be anything going on over there. We can if we want. No, we can't. Okay. Let's check out this ruin. Love the atmosphere in this game. Lynn's gone. Lynn's heights to ask to extend the site. With the boss gone, the wind's gone out of our sails when it comes to digging. It's not such a bad thing. Lifting boxes, crates, and barrels is my area of ex expertise, but shifting their old stones at the slightest pitch and roll, everyone's knees start quaking. Anyway, I just, I was just getting used to the idea of working with archaeologists, making myself useful again. And already the work's dried up. I doubt I'll start up again. I don't see how we can move forward. How about you? How are things in low tide? Is Dee Dee still refusing to go to school? My love, I'm so happy to hear from you. We miss you so much, Dee says. I'm homeschooling her and I'm very much out of my depth. Do you remember the names of all the regions of the tower? I don't even remember learning that. I gave Dee a homework assignment about the old altar to keep her busy for a while. She's supposed to copy the design. I ended up going with her. It had been ages since I'd last ventured behind the village. I'd forgotten how dark it is, but you know Dee, she's gutsy, and she's enjoying diving into the past, just like you. Speaking of which, have your archaeologists finally found out how tides work? They've been digging for a while now, get it? Do you know when you'll be able to come back up here? Okay, a little bit more character development. I've, I wonder if we are Dee Dee. Certainly that answers a couple of questions. Those things jump scare me. Can we? We can't grab that lantern. I guess it would be silly for us to carry a lantern because, you know, we're climbing. We don't really have much room for a lantern. So we're trying to get up to that. I don't know why, but we are. They kind of completely changed my orientation of control, which made moving forward a little bit of a challenge. Can we go in? Oh, what's this? Hey Bianca, how are things down there? I heard your I hear your boss sailed off into the horizon. Good riddance. I never liked him anyway. Things here at the hut are pretty much quiet. Not much uh, not many people stop by these days. A seasonal job when there are no more seasons. I'm starting to get bored. You can tell because I've started scratching letters. Tell me something to distract me, won't you? Oh M, I'm so glad to hear from you. Yeah, I'm about as useful as uh, as a boy on dry land. Uh, but no surprises there. You've been gone for a while, so maybe you don't know, but everything here is closed. Except for old Ennio's shop. He's still raising his chacos. Bassa tried to convince him to leave with them. Remember Bassa? The little terror at the back of the classroom? They got caught in quite a gale. It was amazing. No one's dared try again since. Do you think they're going to keep you on it on if people stop coming by? You might be seeing more folks soon, though. I came across a classified ad. They're mounting an expedition to explore the crow's nest. I'd like that. Going off on an adventure with strangers? Ugh. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Heading for the clouds, huh? That sounds like quite something. I'd better stock the hold. I bet they'll come this way. You know what? You should join them. Come see me too. You don't have any excuses since you're uh, out of a job. It would be a nice change from the few stray travelers that still come by. The other day, another climber got stuck at Weeping Rock Pass. I had to go fetch them, if only you could have seen them. Stupid enough to eat hay, as they say around here. Okay, it's settled. I'll be waiting for you. 
Hope you don't mind me reading all this, but I think it's part of the game. It's definitely part of the experience. I'm assuming that the demo is going to probably end at the end of this tower. Because that would be a pretty convenient stopping point. What the heck are you doing up here, little piglet? Love the little animals and creatures roaming around. Do we go in here? Is there anything going on in here? I feel like, can we put a pitten in this wall? We can. Is there much reason to? No, not really. But I like that you can put a pitten in like anywhere. Sound design is really nice as well. Like, it's uh, maybe undervalued a little bit. But the fact that, you know, every material you walk on uh, represents that material with a unique sound effect. It's, it's good, you know, it adds a lot to the atmosphere. I'd like to check that out, but uh, we'll come back later, maybe. I see the hook icon. I'm definitely going to have to acknowledge that. Oh, okay. We're lowering things with our rope. That's interesting. Got more reading. I'm finally leaving. I'm so happy I couldn't sleep a wink. At the old harbor master's office, a note caught my eye. It sounded like poetry. Expedition to the clouds, seeking hope and water. Join us at 12 octaves. Becca and Arlo's farm at uh, high, high field to journey to journey together. After spending so long marinating and trying to find meaning in life, it'll do me good to see the world, as M would say. Hopefully we'll be stopping by her hut. Just the thought of seeing her again is enough to tell me I'm making the right decision. With any luck, there'll be other adventurers leaving from ho uh, low tide. I don't want to make my way to the meeting point with the rest of the expedition all by myself. The only time I ever left here was for the harvest festivals when I was just a small fry. So an expedition like this is no small matter. They want to set sail for the clouds. Oh no, my parents, I forgot about them. What am I going to tell them? Hey folks, I'm off on an adventure. See you around if, and only if, I make it back alive. Of course, Bianca dear, don't uh, forget to bring snacks. Uh, I better not say anything, and I should bring snacks. <laughs> what else? What do people normally take on this type of trip? One thing's for sure, what's a journey without a logbook? I've got it covered. I plan to make the like, uh, make like the expeditions that set off for the salt plain in search of springs. I'm going to scatter my journal entries along the way for anyone who might come after us, starting with this message. Farewell, my lighthouse. You welcomed me with wonder and have kept me company as I've pondered too much. You've always been there for me. I'm leaving you to weave beaks who will watch over you from the sky and to watch over this message. I'm leaving one of my creations. Um... I don't know who we are. I don't think I, I'm starting to wonder if any of these log books are like There's obviously a lot of things going on here. Um, this was a village. It seems to me that was uh, You know there they had to establish the village. So there was an expedition to explore this realm this this cliff before they established anything um so who are we we i think we probably grew up here hold to place a okay left trigger and right trigger release to let yourself drop yeah i know i kind of wish it wasn't so handholdy with the uh, tutorial but i'm sure it won't be as much later there we go weird that we can just climb that i guess all of the uh little ladders are broken um and we're trying to get to this there we go it was a little bit clumsy, but that's fine. Okay, uh, let's put a pit in here. Oh, whoops. I didn't hit the grab button. I was just holding it down because I guess I assumed that holding it was the same as... But no, you got you to gotta press it. All right, making our way upstairs. Looks like we got to grab there. Let's put another pit in down. We may as well. Easy enough. Got a propeller here. Uh don't really see where we're going oh literally a ladder i asked mo for help but it's no use the door won't budge there's no way of knowing how its inner mechanisms work does it have anything to do with the lost ocean mo isn't much of a handyman either but you'd think we would have been able to figure it out between the two of us he had to weigh anchor a date he said it's true he did seem rather dressed up to tinker around rather perfumed too None of this answers my questions. I've explored you from deck to hold, and I'm no further along when I started. I still don't know what you could have been used for, my lighthouse. Your paintings seem to allude to water falling from the sky, but uh, that's pretty vague. Now what am I supposed to do? This rope here... It's really not 
much reason to have more workshop except to like further establish establish that this was a lived place this place was lived in okay so we've got our first whatever this is a shell yeah we put a shell in it and then we blow into it okay is i wonder if uh these are like gonna help it rain for some reason and we haven't really talked about the you know creature in the room the elephant thing we don't we don't know what it, what it's uh for but we know we need to get it to maybe the top of, of this okay looks like a big old bubble blower surprised it didn't make a big old bubble That's missed opportunity where's our big bubble all right that's all really cool uh all right so there's four more of those and uh we've got some plants plantage that's really cool and that is the end of the demo okay comes out later this month gotcha just on um really cool i like it i like it a lot i'd like to play more of that um i don't really have much to add i think it kind of uh speaks for itself i think it's a really cool game and i'm looking forward to playing more um might even be a day one for me but uh yeah if you enjoyed this video if you got anything from it uh well you know be sure to check out the link in the description for the uh, demo if you want to try it if it's still available um and uh or consider wishlisting it and and maybe hit the like button and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel i'll see you guys next time take it easy